how to read an environmental variable with Ansible, I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today let's deep dive into the Ansible Lookup plugin Env. Plugin are a way to expand the Ansible functionality. With Lookup plugins specifically, you can load variable or templates with information from external sources. If you are familiar with all the type of POSIX system, an environmental variable is defined every time you run a shell, basically in every Linux, macOS uh, or BSD system, and it's very useful to define this type of variable that can be used by all the processes. But back to Ansible, the full name is ansible.builtin.env, so it's part of ansible-core and is included in all Ansible installation. The purpose of the env lookup plugin is to read the value of environmental variable, so exactly what we are expecting. The parameter of the plugin env, the only required parameter is the default terms with the name of the environmental variable to read and uh, the normal user is to assign the lookup plugin to a variable name or uh, to use directly in your task. Demo time, let's jump in a quick live demo about how to read an environmental variable with Ansible Playbook. Let's have fun! Welcome to my editor, I will show you how to print one environment variable. Let's begin our YAML document with three dash and then let's define a name for the play. Environment demo, seems a good one. Then let me specify the target host, all of my inventory and then one task to print it out the environmental variable. So let me display, for example, the content of home. This is a default variable that is present in all the shell. Ansible dot built in the bug to print messages on screen and the message will be the value of the lookup plugin and let me specify the name of the plugin env. Here we go and uh, the value of a variable, in this case home, yes, capital letter. And that's it, done. No more, nothing more complicated than this. You can change the environmental variable that you need in this time, uh, home, username, and are the most common for all the type of shell but uh, you can define also yours. Oh, be aware that these variables are on uh, the Ansible controller, not on the target machine. For that, you need a different things. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me print it out all the available environment variable. With print env you have a pretty good vision of uh, everything. But let me grab for a specific one that is a home, the one that uh, was defined in the Ansible playbook. So now let me execute the playbook with ansible-playbook. Let me specify also the inventory file, so the target machine and of course the playbook file name. The execution will be extremely fast because uh, you need only to read a variable from memory. And uh, wow, what a magic! The display message has exactly the variable that we were looking for. You could imagine the 
how powerful is this tool because you can uh, customize uh, with some uh, external variables that are not defined internal in Ansible but you can define in your bash so it could be also a dynamic parameter or some uh, something some new variable that uh, makes sense for you or something that uh, refer to some uh, type of deployment a lot of continuous integration solution used to define some variable in the terminal shell and of course uh, you can customize per user or for uh, the overall uh, um, system in general so this is very useful tool set to add to your uh, Ansible knowledge. Now you know how to read an environmental variable with Ansible and I'm sure that you are going to use as much as you need in your Ansible playbook. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and in general keep in touch with me, share new idea or feedback and see us on the next episode of Ansible Pilot and have a fantastic day!